Thank you for being an Orbit customer and part of the Beehive family. In this video, I'd like to show you how to set up the smart watering feature on your new Beehive timer. To start, please ensure your device has been tested and is working. If you have questions on how to test your zones once you installed your Beehive device, please see our other video linked below. We strongly encourage using the Smart Watering Program for your Beehive device. This allows you to conserve water and maximize the health of your lawn. It's easy to do. The app will walk you through the Smart Watering setup process. However, before we talk about programming specifics, let's define a few terms. We want to differentiate between Smart Watering weather delays and Smart Water programs. Weather delays use your zip code to look at your hyperlocal weather. When certain conditions are present or predicted, your Beehive device will go into a rain, freeze, or wind delay until the weather changes. Weather delays can be accessed through the My Beehive tab, then select the device where you want weather delays active. The slider should be yellow to show it's on. Smart water programs are more extensive. These programs will look at your zone-specific settings to optimize the amount of water and schedule the watering sessions for each zone individually. These programs use both the weather data from weather delays and the specific details you input about each zone during setup. We will talk you through these details a little later. Don't be surprised if the schedule that is programmed is very different from a traditional watering schedule you might set manually. Given the recent extreme drought affecting much of the western U.S., Orbit has built some additional controls into our Beehive app to help you manage your water use. If you're in a drought-stricken area, we recommend you select the drought setting applicable to your location. Watering will be adjusted based on these settings. Using the link in the app, you can look up your local drought restrictions using just your zip code. With that out of the way, let's talk about programming your new Beehive device using the Smart Watering Programming feature. This will allow Beehive to do the hard work of knowing exactly how much water your yard needs for you. To get started, we need to configure each zone to help Beehive understand how it should schedule your watering sessions. Smart Water Programming assesses eight areas to optimize watering your yard. These areas are soil type, plant type, sprinkler type, sunlight, rainfall, slope, and sprinkler head count, and catch cups, if you have them. All of these areas are configurable in the Zones menu. Click on the zone and navigate to the zone details for smart watering. For more information on advanced settings, visit our support site. We suggest starting out by lowering the soil moisture in each zone to 0% to allow the smart watering program to start fresh. As an option, you can add in a suggested start time and include any watering restriction that you might be under. To do that, navigate to the program section and tap on the smart watering icon in the top right. After your device is connected and the firmware has been updated, the app will walk you through zone setup to activate smart watering. Once you do this with each zone, you can enable smart watering. Click smart watering and then select the zones on which you will use it. Next in the process is setting up each zone individually. The first question is soil type. Select the one closest to what you have in your yard. Next you will set the type of landscaping the zone covers. Is it a zone for your turf or lawn? Or are you watering trees, shrubs, or bushes? Next you need to select the type of sprinkler you have in the zone. You will then tell Beehive how much shade the zone will get. Next, we need to know how much rain makes it to the zone. Is it covered and doesn't receive any rain? Or is it fully exposed to the elements? We will next need to know if it's mostly flat or on a slope. Finally, you will tell Beehive how many sprinkler heads are in the zone. After all that, you will see a summary of the information you've provided. Check that everything is correct, then click Next. You will then be able to enter your next zone. All these questions help Beehive understand how quickly your zone uses water and how much rainfall affects your water usage. Each one of the settings has an impact on how often and how long the program will run. After going through your zones, the final step will ask you about watering restrictions. Enable it through the toggle and enter as necessary. And that's it. You're all set to smart water. With your timer installed and programmed, set it and forget it. And let Beehive help you change the way the world waters.